Well hello folks, it's another short short video from me, Ichitoshi. I've just been asked to make a video to demonstrate how to inscribe using settings.io. It's relatively straightforward, but I understand uh, sometimes it's good to have a visual aid. I'm a bit like that myself. So basically what you're going to do is navigate to the website. On the top right corner it's going to say connect wallet here. You connect your wallet. It will show uh, your protected balance and what you've got in Bitcoin. Just to give you an idea, I've got a disposable wallet connected, so it's not really a big deal. So don't judge the shabby NFTs that are going to be there. Yeah, right, so if you hover over your balance, it'll say Bitcoin balance, inscription balance. My inscription balance says 0033478. You can see there, 0034657. So it's pretty much already all covered. Something that it's not covering though, which is a bit weird, but hey ho, it's got most of it covered, so we know we're safe. So you can go down here to your sats. If you scroll down just from the original screen, it will say interesting sats, and here it will say the ones that you own. Now, if they're on their own like this, you can just highlight this and copy it, and it's that one sat. If you've got a number of them, go to the last remaining one, so here, highlight this number here, and we're going to copy it. It does say on here, inscribe. You can just go here and press inscribe. Sometimes it works, sometimes it as a bit of a moment so I find it's best just highlight it and then go up to here where it says tools on the top of the screen press the button on here you've got a lot of options that you can do but the only one we're going to be looking at for now is inscribe so just going to press here and this is why we copied the sat number you're going to need to paste it in here it'll give you a little tick to say that it's right to inscribe on press OK and then from this point forward it pretty much functions as a regular inscription tool you can do your text or you can do a file. Now for demonstration purposes I'm going to do a file. So I'm going to do one of the inscribed runes that the Bitcoin worm holders can do. So you press the box, or we'll pick a random file, so uh, I don't know, number 12. It's not bad. So we'll show you a preview here of what you're inscribing so you can check that it is actually what you want to do. Then you'll go down here. You can send it to a different Ordinals wallet if you'd like to. If you leave it like this, this will be for your own. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to send this to a different wallet. So I'm just going to get the wallet ID. Bear with me. Now, as always with inscriptions, you're going to want to make sure it's an Ordinals enabled wallet. So that should be a BC1P that you're going to be looking for there. Then you can pick your SAT fee here. Press submit. It's worthwhile to check the mempool. But as I'm sending this and it's not an image that anyone else is going to be front running, it's relatively fair to do it cheap. Check you're happy with the fees. You're going to press inscribe down here. This lightning bolt is a very useful thing to pay attention to later. I'll show you why. Once you press inscribe, it's going to kick open your wallet for you to confirm a transaction. Check you're happy with the transaction and it matches what you should be paying. And press sign. So then say, successfully started inscribing on the SAT. And here it will give you the information. If you press this here, you don't need to worry. It's not like Unisat. It won't close this window. It will open a new window for you. And here we go, there you will see your mempool transaction, which should confirm in this block all being well in the next couple of minutes. And then you have basically inscribed your rare sat. I'll pause the video for a moment while this uh, confirms, and then I'll come back and I'll explain why that lightning bolt was uh, of importance. And we'll finish up the video there, but if you're happy with this, this is pretty much how you do it explained. Stay tuned for the uh, closing comments. Actually, I can show you while that's confirmed. I'm still waiting for that block to confirm. But, uh, just to show you what they look like. <laughs> now the image that you saw me do there was uh, one of the holder claim tokens called um, inscribed runes. So I will look on here for runes. And there we go, inscribed runes. Well, and there we are. So once you've done them, or once you've done an inscription, this is how it roughly will appear. You'll be able to see the unique attributes that you've done, uh, depending on what kind you've done. So yeah, it's quite a cool, unique feature, and it doesn't cost all that much, depending on the image size that you use. So yeah, have fun with uh, inscribing on rare sats. Um, because you shouldn't really do this, but I know this is going to confirm, so it's fine. So I'm just going to go back. <coughs> and I'm going to disconnect that wallet. Thank you very much. I'm just going to sign into a different Unisat wallet so I can demonstrate what I meant. That one. There we go. Right. Make sure it's the right wallet. 
It will then ask you to do a little signature to confirm your wallet, press sign, then it will successfully say you have logged in. Now, the reason why I told you that Lightning Bolt was is if you look here on one of my more main wallets, is there's a Lightning Bolt on this, but there's not on this. And the reason why that's important is because if you have a wallet that's got multiple SATs in, uh, Sattings is very good, it breaks it down so you can see. Now, press this one here, you can see it says Reinscribe or Inspect. It doesn't actually say Inscribe. That's because the ones with a lightning bolt on are the ones that have been inscribed already. You see, if I press this one that has no lightning bolt, it says inscribe. Let's scroll up a bit. It says inspect, inscribe, curse, inscribe, dual inscribe, what have you. But it doesn't actually say inspect. That's because it's not got any content on it. It's the same with these pizza sats here. So if you only have one in here and you've bought it from the marketplace and it has a lightning bolt on it, it means it's got some content on it. Uh, that doesn't mean to say you can't inscribe on it, it just means to say it's got content on it. So it's worth noting those a little bit of interesting thing about UTXOs. But that's why when you press inscribe they have a little lightning bolt because you that's what you're doing. You are putting something onto it, burning something onto the SAT. It's quite an interesting little thing. So yeah, but that's how you inscribe on a rare SAT and that's a little bit how the UTXOs work so you can work out uh what's inscribed and what's not. Uh any questions pop them down below and I'll try my very best to answer them. Thanks very much.